Hi CBC and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Maureen Tilly and I'm a registered dietitian, but I'm better known as published author of Hold the Salt and Hold That Hidden Salt. Both contain quick to prepare recipes that are reduced sodium, heart healthy, yet packed with flavor. Now through my publications and through my role as a dietitian, I gain much public speaking opportunities to large audiences in addition to media interviews and cooking demonstrations on CTV News, Breakfast Television, and my favorite, CBC News and CBC Radio. Now I don't claim to be a chef, but I certainly know my way around the kitchen. I attribute my culinary skills to growing up and cooking with my mother, in addition to a lot of practice and experimentation in the kitchen. And, of course, my true love and passion for good food and fine cooking. Now, I may be a dietitian, but that doesn't mean I don't acknowledge the deliciousness that comes along with some of those finer ingredients, such as your butter, your oil, and even a little bit of salt, but all in moderation, right? So let's get this cooking party started and let's cook up some of my favorite recipes. We're gonna make some Caribbean curry burgers. Now there's no comparison when it comes to a homemade burger versus what you buy frozen in a box. And they're still a cinch to make. So in the bowl, we have ground turkey. Now compared to your ground beef, it's not quite as flavorful but it's a healthier choice. And we're gonna fix that by adding all kinds of different flavors. Start with minced ginger and minced garlic, the bold taste of curry powder, add some color and freshness with cilantro, some diced onions, and some bread crumbs. So mix well and form into patties. And voila, let's get things heated up and let's get cooking. Well, here we have the burger just frying up on the stove here. So we just have a little bit of oil on the pan and that's just gonna make sure that the burger doesn't stick but also gonna give you that nice, beautiful browning color. So we're just gonna cook that on one side for about five minutes. I think it's probably just about ready to be flipped now. And if you could just smell the beautiful scents in this kitchen right now. You have a combination of the curry, the garlic, the ginger, and the caramelization of that onion. And it's just frying up to true perfection. It's just going to be so delicious. So we're going to leave that to fry for a few more minutes there. And here we have pineapple. So you can go with canned, but I always prefer to go with fresh because it has that much more flavor. But number one thing is just saute it for a few minutes on the pan there until you get this nice browning color. And what's happening is it's caramelizing those natural flavors in there and really bringing out that sweetness. So you're really gonna taste it and the full flavor when you put it on your burger. And I always love to use a curry mayonnaise. So all this is is light mayonnaise mixed with a little bit of curry powder and it's going to give it that added last touch and it just pairs up so beautifully with the pineapple. So I think that's probably just about ready there. Take it off the stove here. Let's add it to our bun. And we're going to top it with that caramelized pineapple. Just beautiful. And the last touch, just a dollop of that curry mayo. Doesn't that just look fabulous? Well, CBC, it's been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen. I'm really looking forward to when I get to join you in yours. Bye for now.